One of the most difficult things as a newbie is learning how the action tiles layout mechanism works. The instructions say that it works left to right, top to bottom, but that doesn't really tell you much. Here in my demo I've got a screen that is two tiles high and seven tiles wide. I'm going to place a clock at the beginning. Now my next tile is going to be a single tile and it's going to go right to the right of the clock, working left to right. Now I'm going to place another tile, and it's going to be a wide tile. Moves in right next to the first row, and I've used five of my seven tiles now. The next tile I'm going to place is a tall tile. I'm at six wide. If I place a single tile at the end, my next tile is going to go down in the empty space on the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to place a wide tile down there, which now leaves me room for two standard tiles. Now keep in mind that the order that the tiles have been appearing on the screen here is the order that they are in my tile set list in the builder. And we're done.